All right, grade 11. Um, let's continue with analytical geometry. Uh, we are on the inclination of a straight line. Eh? The inclination of a straight line is an angle. This angle, it is called the inclination. That angle is, is formed by a straight line and also the x-axis. It must start from the x-axis. So remember, on a Cartesian plane, you have y and you have x. Né? Then this angle here, which is formed here between uh, the the line, the straight line, and also also uh, the x-axis. It is called the inclination. Normally, when you find the inclination more than ninety degrees, you 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 normally see it as negative. And immediately it is negative, please at at 180 degrees so that it will become an acute angle. Now, this point of inclination, we are using, remember, uh, normally this is uh, y equals to the gradient of this line here, of this line here, multiplied by x plus c. Normally, when we calculate this inclination, um, we take it from the idea that tangent of the inclination is equals to the gradient of the line. So, if you know how much is this gradient, you can put it here, and you can find the angle by making use of the second function of tan, tan of the gradient of that line. So this is how you find the um, the, gra the, the the inclination. You use the second function of the tangent uh, of of the tangent tangent to the gradient. Now, in the case where you are given the angle, if 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 this angle is given, you'll be able to calculate the gradient of of this line here. So it becomes easier. So make it a point every time when you need to calculate the um, inclination. Use this formula. This formula will allow you to find the gradient if you have an angle. It allow you to find the, uh, the, 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 um, the angle if you have the gradient. Let's take a journey at 4.3 for an example. Um, let's take, okay, let me just uh, put, um, uh, okay, all right. Now, let's take, for instance, you are having this gradient. Né? You are having this, this equation. This is the equation of the line. You can, you can quickly draw this uh, this line uh, minus four minus four is here and two is somewhere here then you draw you draw this this line then there comes an inclination this will be your inclination and if you are requested to find this inclination here you know what you do you only look at this gradient you don't need to draw this graph like as I am doing. No. You know that you are looking for, for this um, uh, uh, inclination here. Then it will be easier. The tangent of, the tangent of this inclination is equal to, then you take this gradient. You take the gradient 2. Then theta will be equal to what? the second function of the second function of this one so this then you can now take your calculator make sure that your calculator you, it has the second function of tan 2 then that will give you that will give you 60 63 comma 4 3 normally it, it gives something like that if it's in a degree 4 now 
if for example you are requested to find a gradient from this type of an equation please make sure that this this equation must be transformed to um, the equation of the standard form when we talk of the standard form we're talking of y is equals to m mx plus c and then you transform this one to be the same as this one you take the minus um, the, uh, 5 to that side minus 5x uh, plus 8 divided by 4 divided by 4 so your equation will be a negative 5 divided by 4x plus 2 and this is your gradient that is your gradient and you can quickly find the inclination by saying the tangent of the theta equals to this theta represent the uh, inclination you can even use beta or alpha or anything um, minus 5 over 4 then this will be theta equals to the second function of negative 5 over 4 then when you take your calculator just press second function of tan into negative 5 over 4 then that will give you that will give you the answer the answer will be negative 5 1 comma 3 4 you remember what I said about the, uh, the negative you 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 quickly add 180 plus this negative 5 1 comma comma 3 4 then then this one will give you will give you 100 and 128 128 comma 66 so this is how you find the the inflammation even if you are given the two points you can find the gradient of these two points and obviously you'll be able to find them the gradient the the, the inflammation the gradient inflammation gradient inflammation and so on and um one other very important thing people that we must um, look at is exercise exercise let's just check exercise uh, 4.4 4.4 right on this exercise you 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 are given you are given the coordinates of this point on the cartesian plane and uh, you are requested to find the size of this one the size of this one and the size of this one is the inclination the size of this one is the inclination but this one here is not the inclination you need to use your um, um, geometrical uh, vocabulary okay let me just uh, take you through this question let me take you through this question yeah um the gradient of a b find the gradient find oh i'm sorry a c find the gradient a c you know our practice y at c minus y at a divided by x at c minus the x at a then this will be the x at c there which is it oh, the y y at c is 4 4 minus uh, y at a is 0 0 minus or oh, divide by x at c uh, is 3 here minus at a is 1 1 so it's, it's something like 4 over over 2 which is equals to how much which is equals to 2 remember the inclination inclination will be this one ne? then this means that you'll be seeing um, the tangent of 
angle A1 is equals to tangent of angle A1 is equals to this gradient here. It's equals to this gradient here because this gradient is the gradient of this line. And then you have this situation, the situation, then you press your calculator and you find that this is 60, 63 comma, what is that number? The second function of tan 2 is 63 comma 43, comma 43, okay? Then you got your, the size of A now. The size of this one here, um, you do the same. You find the gradient of uh, BC. The gradient of BC is equals to the Y at B minus the Y at C divided by X at B minus uh, X at C. Okay. Let's see how we find this one. Uh, y at B, 0. At C, 4, divided by, at X at B, 4, minus, X at the, um, this point here, uh, is 3. Now you have minus 4 divided by 1. So how much is your gradient? Minus 4. Then the tangent... Um, the tangent of angle of inclination B1 is equals to minus 4. So the inclination B1 is equals to the second function of negative 4. Ne? Negative 4. Negative 4. Now, now this is this is the same as what? The size now become, and then you take your calculator, you calculate quickly the second function of tangent of negative 4 is giving you, is giving you negative 75,96. Now, this one here, you need to add, you need to add. 180 degrees. You need to add 180 degrees. Okay. Now it's giving you how much? Uh, it's giving you 104,04. So this will be the size of uh, this angle here. But the size of C, people. Uh, you can use this this thing here of inclination. You apply you apply your geometry. It says that the angle. You you remember you remember I said something about the straight line. If you have here one o four comma zero four, this angle here is angle is adjacent to this one. So. The sum of the adjacent angle on the straight line equals to 180 degrees. Normally, normally um, this you must say 180 degrees minus this angle here 104,4, which is giving you 75,96. Then you can add this one plus this one plus this one. So you'll be saying angle C plus the angle A1 plus angle, angle um, uh, this angle here, which is not angle B1, ne? is the angle at B2, for example, you can, you can just name it B2, then is equals to 180 degrees. Ne? So C, angle C will be 180 minus angle A, your angle A here, you got it is 63. Remember, 63,43 minus angle B, you need angle B is 75, 75 there, comma 96. Ne? Then you can easily find the, uh, 
you can easily find um, uh, angle C by just subtracting um, uh, those ones there 63 comma uh, 43 yeah um, my calculator is giving me 12 comma 53 I'm not so sure but you can verify that so that's how we we find the um, uh, angles all the angles that are requested right um, it's very important people to look at look at it's the same thing same thing I think with exercise exercise this one and you can you can try it yourself and see you can try it yourself and see okay on this exercise you 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 are having you are having this one I think the plan for week on the 19 which is uh, Sunday ne? you'll receive this video and you must do exercise 4.4 and 4.5 now 4.4 uh, this is what you must do on on, on 4.4 uh, it's only question 4 question 5 and question 6 then you need to submit them you need to submit question four, question question four, question five from exercise. Um, let me just write them here, maybe. Let me just write them here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. That is exercise four point four, number six. Is, is number number what is that one? That one, that one, that one, that one. You're starting from number four four five six okay I, I think it's it's better that way is 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 uh, four exercise four point four four five and the six then the, it will, you'll submit remember you'll submit this exercise 4.4 with exercise 4.5 so the next video that is coming will give um a work a work on exercise 4.5 okay thank you very much um uh, watch the next video